plenty of flavor in there. The marbling is insane. I'll give it a little kiss with more. Let's go, cuz. <laughs> All right, everyone. You know what it is, lad. Welcome back to It's All Eats, lad. It's been like full oaky, lad. Le legit. It's been like six months. I'm Jade, lad. <gasps> Boom, lad, let's go, cuz. Right, we're back on, lad. We're going to a place called Six Head tonight, right? It's Sydney's premium steakhouse. They got all the goods. You know what I'm gonna say. They got Wagyu this, Wagyu that, smoke this, age this. They got black pearl beluga caviar. I'm jeet about that. They got fancy wines. They got mad seafood. They just got gun meats. All the best cuts of steak. This place is famous. There's one in Sydney, there's one in Perth. I love it. Let's oge. It's all eats all of my adventures, mate. Wherever I go and do into the hoods, we're eating their best food. Straight food here, straight food there, best this, best that. All right, let's move it quick, lad, because we're gonna get soaked by the time we get there. Have you noticed how I look like a bodybuilder? Wood Rambo, lad, let's go. You know what I miss, lad? The old intro music. Do, 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 do. What a shot, lad. What about that? What a scenic shot here in the rain, brother. Perfectly located. Get under the cover, bro. That's it, six head behind us. They know I'm coming, obviously. I gave them the buzzaroo. I said, Anyos is back, lad, and we're on. Wait, go through the front. Hey, bro, it's raining, bro. I can go through the front. Fucking cameraman telling me which way to walk, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Walk which way I want, let's go. There you go, cameraman, through the front, mate, eh? Like they wouldn't have known otherwise. Hello, mate. Hello. Come on. How are you today? I'm good. My booking is banging. Fantastic. It's beautiful. There we are. Thank you. Thank you, mate. All right, you know what we'll do before we order? We'll go have a suss around the place. One of the lads knows I'm coming. He's going to show us around. I don't know nothing about it, cuz. We'll find out from him, lad. I'll let him do the talk. He, he runs the restaurant, my lad. Sorry. Well, cuz. Heritage building. Renovated yep. 2019. Oh, Sandstone. Yeah. It's like everything that we build. All yeah. heritage. All heritage. Yeah. Dry aging cabinets. We're dry aging uh, collars and coal. Grass fed beef from Victoria in chocolate. Yep. Because in chocolate, in chocolate, yeah. Because why not? Right, look at this. It's full. <laughs> it's it's sitting there in chocolate. What's what what meat is that again? This is a ribeye is on the bone. So this is a whole rack of ribs. Yep. The rice fed beef from Victoria. It's and sitting in chocolate. Yeah. And then what you? Well, Six weeks in chocolate. Yep. It reduces all the moisture. Yep. Sucks in a bit of that sweetness, and then we cut it. We clean it up. When you put it on wow. the grill. Sweetness on the crust, a bit of complex flavor caramelization. Cars, I've never even heard of this, lad. It sits there for six weeks in chocolate, but I still my head in. Best yep. wines in Australia, best wines in the world we serve on our You know what? Wine list. I full don't drink like never, and tonight I'm gonna yeah. sip a wine. I'm gonna celebrate it's all eats back, all right? I'm gonna sip a wine for you. This small grill over here feeds one of the busiest steakhouses in Sydney. Three boys over here, Tommy, the executive head chef. Oh, oh yeah, Tommy. Good. Beautiful. Yeah. Six hundred so people. Everything's there on that grill. Everything's wow. there on that grill. No yeah. oven, nothing. Go flame on the grill. Yep. This is where the magic gets done. As soon as you put your steaks, you come back. And yep, 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 yep. Lovely. What is he upstairs? Yeah, of course, of Let's course. Go. Six heads is a celebration of Australian grown beef. HMS series, first fleet, they brought with them six head of cattle. Two bulls and four cows. That's where the name comes from. Six head. All right, now that I understand that. Yeah. yeah. That was the only six head of cattle in Australia. Cattle is not native yeah. to this part of the world. The convict that was supposed to look after them lost them. And then eight years later, they found them in the Nepean River. Yeah. Hundreds of cattle. No way. Crazy. And you of course, <laughs> you know, the governor hunter thought it was a good day for a steak. Yeah. And then word spread around the colony and the world that Australia is going to be a good country for cattle. Yeah. And it's true today. One of the biggest and best producers of beef all over the world is Australia. I was born and raised in Lebanon. Yeah. And if you go to a Lebanese, to a good restaurant, you know they're serving Aussie beef. You know, you get oh, that's it's so famous over there. Everywhere yeah, around yeah. the world. Yeah, what a story. Yeah. Bro. So I love that's that story. what we celebrate. Yep. Different producers, some wagyu, some grass fed, some grain fed. We work with some of the best farmers and producers in Australia. We've established connections with all of them. And we serve it at six cents. Love it. And you're gonna pick some, some stuff to serve me up? Yeah, we'll go on a journey. Yep. We get some grass fed black Angus, grain fed Australian wagyu, some Japanese wagyu. 
So you go into its flavor, and every cut has a different feel to it. So you get to taste different styles. And then, of course, we'll do, you know, the we have your steak Lump. right here on the board. Lump. And we'll do some of our signature entrees and sides for you. Beautiful. Yeah. Some oysters? Sydney Rock? Yeah, yeah. Of course. From Wombourne and Pembrola oysters. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's go. Let's go. Lovely. Let's go, G. Let's go, G. I'm so G. Did you understand? I love you to eat cuz I swear it's the best job. Going into hoods and that's mad too. Don't worry, I love the hood. I love going through. But when you get to eat wagyu's cuz and it's a job, you know how it is, lad. Redeem. Hey, they got mad uh, seafood here and this and that. Oh, caviar too. I'm gonna tell him caviar, what are you talking about? I forgot to ask him, Black Pearl Beluga, lad. Look, I don't know too much about the names of steaks, you know what I mean? But they get graded. They got numbers next to them, grass-fed 68, grass-fed 250. Platinum T-bone steak, grain-fed for 450 days. I'm presuming that's how long they fed the animal. Is that how long? the cow is 450 days old? I don't know, bro, I'm probably talking on my ass. This one is the one with It's uh, the one so with Lamo di Pepper, Marvis for Nantes in it. Beautiful. I swear my mum's wife, I have no idea what he said the whole time. I don't know what we're eating. I'm sorry, can you explain? Do you know what that is? No. I couldn't understand his accent. It's the Wagyu Brazola yep. with pickled chilies. Pickled chilies, yep. What's this? Lovely. Wagyu fat butter. Oh, Black butter. lava oh, salt. Wow. It's delicious. And then sourdough bread. Alright, beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Pickled chili. The first Adlai had no idea what he said. <laughs> I had to get the other one to do it. Oh, bro, stop it. I still don't know what this is after two people said it. I think she said brosciola. I have no idea. Cause this tastes like butter. It's like butter, lad. Pickle chili, cause well, you know how it goes, chilies. That is beautiful. Sour pickle chili, spicy, but charred. It's warm, gun chili. They're probably looking at me like this bloke munches the chilies and reviews them, eat the food, brother. Show me what it's about, cuz. A nice sour dough. A bang, lad, well. Wow, that butter, it's so light. Brother, it's light. It's like yogurt, but it tastes like butter with gun olive oil on it. But it's so light. Like, look, would you ever have butter like that and put it in your mouth? But you can. Because it's like, it's like wheat, it's froth, lad, right? it's hectic. And gun olive oil, that's the wog in me, lad. Put olive oil on anything, cuz. Cornflakes, olive oil. They're bringing the steaks out already, I'm overwhelmed. Let's go. What's this? Yeah. That's our dinner? This is our dinner. Oh, okay. well. But I want to show you the different journey that we're going to be going through. This yeah. is grass fed beef from Victoria, Collison's and Co. Clean, lean, you know, yep. grass fed beef, traditional flavor. Yep. Fillet is all about texture. It's the softest steak you can have. It's got no connective tissue in terms of fat. It melts in your mouth. This is a grass fed tomahawk from the same people, from the same farmers we work with. But look at the size of these cars. 1.5 kilos of grass fed tomahawk. This is our best seller. This is yep. the steak we sell the most from. We started with that. We've been working with the same guys. Collison and Cole tomahawks, 1.5 kilos. This is Wagyu from Australia. Yep. We work with Miura Station down in South Australia, South Australia. The Limestone Coast. They've won awards, they're great. And this is not a steak that's on the menu, this is a special. They call us up, hey guys, special. Yeah. I've got a picanha, I've got a rump cut. We get them in. Yep. This is a picanha, very famous in Brazil. Usually used on skewers, the churrasco, if you yep. yep. Plenty of flavor, I like this strip of fat and the marbling there. It's one of the most flavorful steaks well. in a cup. What and is this cars? This looks this is full of fat cars. Well, this is the highest marbled beef on the planet. This is A5 Japanese Wagyu from Hokkaido in Japan. That's the highest marbled on the planet. That's it. When I looked at it, it's like right, it's like fifty percent fat. It's True. beautiful. But this fat that we call marbling, marbling it melts yep. at a lower temperature, and this gives you all the flavor. Two kinds of fat: the intermuscular fat between the muscles. And the fact that's inside the muscle. Yep, yep. And that's the fact that melts that we call marbling that gives a flavor. Well. In Australia, we grade our steaks from marble score 3 plus yep. to 9 plus. Yep. And then in Japan, they do A5, A1, 2, 3, and A5. A5. And that's A5. The well, whole journey on the table today 
think you'll have a great time. Well, yeah. I'll give it a little kiss. <laughs> well, let's go, cuz. So we are getting the highest grade steak on the planet. I told you I didn't tell you lies, lad. It's all eats, Adelaide. We're not playing marbles here, but we're back for real, lad. I only get the best steaks on the planet. I didn't even know he was going to bring that out, but... That's what happens when you're on your slide. Let me get back to my food, cuz. Don't touch me. This is A3, cuz. Don't touch me. I don't remember what he said, but we're going from fillets from South Australia to tomahawks. The things that aren't on the menu, you got to ring them up like a special connect on WhatsApp. It will change disappearing messages. Bro, and we're finishing with the world's best steak. Mm. Mm. There's people there, I don't care. They're, they're Japanese, they don't care. In Japan, what I'm about to do is normal. Whoa. Whoa. See, they don't even look, cuz. Don't tell me about Japan. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about my wife. We go to buffets like the Crown and the Star, and she eats like 45 oysters, lad. Whoa. I love this mignonette, lad. Red wine mignonette. Of course, I know what I'm doing. I operated a food show for many a months, brother. Many a years. It's all eats, cuz. Oh, lad. Look at that little Tabasco's, lad. I need those in my Evo. Mm. Well. What are these? So this is your kefir ceviche with citrus dressing, white stuff underneath, garlic and fresh, uh, watermelon radish, red onions, fresh chili, and black lava salt. Kingfish ceviche. The fish is beautiful. It's, it's a slightly salty food it's the green it tastes like almost pesto -y. not as herb as a pesto but it's like a pesto mixed with olive oil and lemon so it's like a, a zesty olive oil tasting pesto but not that herby like a pesto like yeah would you like you want a headbutt or a headbutt someone in the public <laughs> it's still like mild and the kingfish is beautiful cold that's mad it's hectic i love it so eats cars everything's hectic what are you talking about What's this black crunchy stuff, lad? Oh, that's that's what has a salty flavor. This black crunchy stuff, what is it? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a bull. Gives you the life story of all the oysters that they get, lad. Tells you where their mum was born, tells you what they want for Christmas, everything, cuz. So if you order an oyster, you know it's mum. On this, you know the crunchy black stuff? What was that? Uh, black lava salt, so it's from well. Cyprus, made from volcanic sediments over there. Black Cyprus. lava salt from Cyprus? Bro, it was hectic. I knew it was salty. It's your skull island king prawns with extra butter from the chili, a signature dish. Been on our menu since we opened. Well, I'm getting things I didn't even know, cuz. What do you mean? King prawns, exo butter, fermented chili. <laughs> I eat oysters, I'm not gonna lie, but prawns with the whole face on it? Nah, cuz. But I'm gonna smash it because the, the back of it, they already peeled it. You know when I crack prawns and you see inside the head? I don't like that. So I'll hide that. Bro! Oh, lad. It's so buttery. It's like a fat, juicy, mad cooked prawn. Buttery with like a really unique chili sauce, cuz. Fermented chili. I don't know what fermented chili tastes like, but it's gun, lad. It's oge. More. Cuz I'm gonna die from the sides. That's the last entree. Last entree? Last right. entree. Kerubi skewer. Kerubi is next to the short rib over here. Yep. And you should not a common steak that you find. You find it in a Japanese food, Japanese style. Thinly cut, plenty of marble, plenty of flavor. Well. And then when you grill it correctly on the grill, it will melt in your mouth. Well, what's on it? Avruba, caviar, garlic, and fresh burnt chili. And then you've got the oils. Caviar, burnt chili, this, that, oils, well, cuz. But the, the sides are like a full smorgasbord, cuz. I could walk home from the sides and I think I ate a five course meal, cuz. I didn't mean. So, some crazy marbled beef wagyu that's not on the menu, put onto skewers covered in caviar and roasted chilies, cuz. Look at you. Brother, the meat, it's like bread. The texture is like a fresh bread roll. I didn't even have to chew. The whole thing liquefied in my mouth. Well, slightly spicy because it's popping like butter. It's a nice char, lad. It's got a mad char flavor. Well, we'll go for a little cruise, lad. Come. There's people full doing the bridge walk. Full. Look at this. Full pouring rain. They're full bridge walking. See them? Ah, full. Imagine bridge walking in this weather, lad. 
You know what one I'm G'd for the most? The world's best beef. Oh, you know when I seen it, I swear I knew. Because you know how you can see the marbling? And I'm gonna stop calling it fat. I think they get a bit dirty. He's, he dropped the hint, he goes, we call it marbling. But this fat that we call marbling. But the last little one on the corner, that he said's the A5 or whatever. Brother, the whole thing was marbled, lad. Even those sides, lad. Wow. What side did I like the most so far? The skewers with the caviar, they were hectic. Even that meat was gone and that's probably not even comparative. See the whole buildings, this used to be like um, like a, like docks and all of that you can see. See the, the buildings here? Cause I know about the city, you know what I mean? We're at the rocks, Miller's Point. I know about the whole city. This used to be warehouses, the boats would unload stuff. They boom, boom and ship it out or they put stuff on boats. But these were one of Sydney's many docks. There were docks all around from Woolloomooloo to, to, to Circular Quay, to Darling Harbour, to Balmain. There were docks everywhere. But this is one of them. He said 10 minutes off the meats, so we'll go back. <laughs> I love the heaters, bro. I'm so cozy, lad. I'm so cozy right now, mate. I told you I'm gonna have a glass of wine. It doesn't mean I'm gonna drink the whole wine. What it means is I'm gonna order a wine, taste it, and then carry on about how much I hate it, all right? But I'm gonna do it for you. Who knows, lad? Next minute, I like it. Next minute, I'm homeless, living under the bridge, alcoholic and that. Next minute, I'm in jail, lad. Next minute, I'm back on the Eris and that, lad. You'll change. Are you the wine connoisseur, brother? Oh, how are you? I'm good. I would uh, like a, a wine, please. Yeah, like a, a, David Franz Barbosa. Barossa. Barossa Valley. All right. Yeah. I like it shows how much Barossa Valley I go Barbosa. Yeah. All right. Yeah, beautiful. So it's a full body, quite approachable as well. Yep. Aromatic, nice, easy to drink. Matches for this. Thank you. Perfect. Just one glass, brother. We're getting the 2017 David Franz Barossa Valley. Georgie's Walk. What a name, cuz. The name goes on forever. It's like 18 words in the name. I'll start again. I'm not gonna start again, I don't care. Say so the Yanni just dropped. Red wines are full-bodied and they go well with marbly steaks, all right? That's the breakdown. White wines, they go with seafoods and kingfishers, what? I just added that last part in the end, then I bet you I might. We'll see. This right here is the David Franz Cabernet, 2017. 2017, yep. And we use a Paragon method, which is to preserve the wines as well as to edit the wines back. All right, beautiful. So I'm going to do it right here. Wow, well, it comes out so like a shower, guys. It does look like a shower. What yes. that does is it will it produce oxygen to the wine. Brings oxygen into so it. it. Oh, yeah. Opens up nicely well. before your steak arrives. Well. It comes out like a shower head, it introduces oxygen to the wine and you know, gets it rolling, like, gets the flavors popping up like. All the way from the Barossos. Bar All the way from the Barossa Valley, lad. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna smell like alcohol. I was thinking, mate, it's that fancy that it's 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 beyond alcohol. You know, like real bougie alcohols that they, they don't smell like alcohol. It smells like full alcohol, lad. Ah, oh, he's the meat, cuz. We're gonna have to delay this. Oh my god, let's ouch. Well, well. Grass fed filet. Yep. Anya, the rump cup, and the grass fed tomahawk. We're gonna start with the lean. Can we start with the softest and we go up in flavor? Wow. Then some of that black. Oh, the salt. salt. That was that was hectic. That salt. It, it was is on the very good. Fish. It was hectic. It is. As well. There we go. This is our picanha. You're gonna see such a different flavor profile between those two cuts. Yo. This is all about richness of flavor. Plenty, plenty of flavor in there. The marbling is insane. And over there, the fillet lean and clean, all of that texture. Well, well. And a bit more of that salt. What's the salt called again? Black lava salt. Black lava salt from yeah. Cyprus. Okay. Stuff coming from everywhere. What's this? <laughs> so this is the heater. This is the Hokkaido. I don't like this it. Is the A5 oh, that's the A5 one. That's the A5. I love you. Yeah, beautiful. We'll get to that. As well. Tomahawk is a ribeye technique. And all ribeyes are Two, two parts, a cup and a loin. This is the cup and this is the loin. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that, yeah. It's the heart of the muscle, you know, the big part of the muscle. Yes. And the cup is, in other words, called the spinalis, spinalis dorsi. And it's got a bit more marbling. It's got the same flavor, but a lot more tenderness and fluffiness. Yes. The cup yes. over there. Yes. So even inside the ribeye, 
There's so much difference in flavor. Yep. There we go. Have them separately. That's hectic, lad. I'm learned in tomahawks now, caps and loins. Next time someone says they got mad steaks, and I said, what, the cap or the loin? If they don't know what they're talking about, cuz, then get away from me. The bone trimmings, very rich in flavor because the fat caramelizes on the grill as it's cooking. Yep. And the closer you are to the bone, the more flavor you're gonna get from the bone marrow. So, not to be underestimated. This is the intercostal muscle, they call it. Yep. I'm gonna put it back behind so you know the different cuts are in different places. You have yourselves a nice journey now. Thank you, brother. Real cuz. So we're starting on the filler, right? And we're going to whatever that's called. We're going to the cap and the loin of the tomahawk and then we're getting to the A5 lab. Let me break it down for you. Look at this. Get in there, mate. Get in there, cameraman. Hey, what are you here for? I'm not gonna sit here and be able to break down the individual to a point of every steak, all right? But lad, if that is the beginning of the journey, essentially the worst of the four steaks we're about to eat, cause what's that? It's like sweet. That steak is like sweet, lad. It's not fatty, it's not marbly. You know how like the other Wagyu's, in a good way, they're full like marbly, like it's all like melts, but that one isn't, that one's not that, but the meat itself is soft as, but it's textured meat. But for a lean meat to be like so soft, like, that's mad actually, that's actually mad. I forgot what this one's called, there's too many meats, cuz, just enjoy the show. That tastes more, more meaty. This one's really sweet, like, this one's really sweet. This one's more fatty, with more of a normal meat taste. I'm gonna try one of these dips. What do you mean, cuz they got dips galore? Chili sauce. It's not chili sauce, I have no idea what it is, but it's nice. You know how I learned the, the names um, of the, the tomahawk, and I'm an expert in tomahawk names now? I forgot what they're called, cuz, so it's just tomahawk from now on. I think one was called Cap. Cap and, um, cameraman, what was it? Cap and loin, that's what it was, mate. Cap and the loin. So we're starting on the cap. Oh, look at the wine. Should I take the wine now before the cap and loin? Right, we're gonna do the wine, I'd like. Cuz, I didn't shiver. I didn't shiver. You know that's the first time I've sipped alcohol. It's it's hot going down. It's going down. It's hot. It's like it's hot. My throat is hot now. But it smells like it shake, right? But when you taste it, right, it's not like poison. It's sort of like it's coppable. I'm gonna have a proper sip of it, all right? Ugh. Whatever it has, it's wine, yuck. All right, let's move on to the steaks, like cap. But I felt like I ate a half a jellyfish then, cause well, the whole thing was juicy fat, well. The tomahawk cap is winning, cuz. You can honestly taste the increase as we're going along. So it's what they say about the ratings or whatever, or the pricing, or if we're going lowest to highest or cheapest to dearest, I don't know. But it's getting better as we go. Then we're gonna smash the loin, lad. Look at that, look how much these, cuz. What are you talking about, brother? Don't touch me, cuz. I like the cap better. The cap. So this is like full extra crisp, lad. His skin is from the, the bone. You know when you get a lamb chop and you eat the bone and you eat that little part off the top of the bone, it's like crispy, that little crisp, and you like that, you know? That's like a big version of that. This is the world's best beef. A5. The whole thing, full marble, this day inside, comes from 
you know, the ranking system. It has a subtle flavor. It doesn't taste fatty because it's like eating aeroplane jelly. The flavor, subtle root. And even the flavor of the meat, it's light. Some of these have strong flavors. The tomahawk has its own flavor, but it's not strong. It's, it's ill chai, so you can pump heaps. This is the most mellow, but like a, it's like it's like it's got aromas of meat, like a, a hint of meat. It's like that, you know what I mean? And it's bad. It's like aeroplane jelly with a crust on the outside. Wow. For eating the world's best meat, lad. Well, I'm buying. I just gotta give a big shout out to the broccoli and the piece of lettuce that never got touched. I don't have time for it, cuz. Sorry. But, well, cuz. I'll ask him if he can pack up the extra meat. I'll take it home to my wife. We'll cut and I'll give you a little, a little, a little rundown, cuz, what I think. Well, cars, let's go, let's go down here. That's six head down at Circular Key. Sydney's premier steakhouse. We just got the world's best beef amongst other gun beasts, but yeah. I can't say that I've had better steak anywhere else. It lives up to the name, lad, it's hectic. The sides were mad, the oysters, well, cars, even them skewers, everything was hectic. That A5 beef, well, the tomahawk off its guts. That's our comeback episode to It's All Eats. And I'm glad we're back, lad. I'm sure you are glad we're back. Everywhere I go around the world, we're pumping it all easy. Baba, that's it. Let's go get out of my face. See you later.